A case that's rolled on for years in federal court threatened a Tampa tradition. Coming up, we break down the big win for our local premium cigar companies. Critics say surveys going out to Florida college students and staff could limit free speech on campus. But what exactly are they required to tell the state? We verify. Glad you're here with us at 530. This is 10 Tampa Bay. I'm Josh Sidorowicz. Happy Friday to you. I'm Courtney Robinson. First up, the premium cigar industry scored a big legal victory this week, and that's welcome news in spots like our own Ybor City. Tampa has a long history of cigar making dating back more than 100 years. Yeah, but a battle over regulations threatened to send the industry up in smoke. Now, as 10 Tampa Bay's Art Glasser explains, it looks like local cigar makers will be able to keep on rolling for years to come. Well, smoke them if you've got them might be the celebratory refrain from premium cigar manufacturers like those here in Ybor City after a favorable ruling this week from a federal judge in a case that's gone on for years now. Back in 2016, the Food and Drug Administration identified a wide range of tobacco products, including premium cigars, saying they should be subjected to that same type of regulation as cigarettes because of a government rule and the way it was interpreted. The industry got political support from Senator Marco Rubio and others who asked for an exception, saying those kinds of regulations would wipe out premium cigar makers. 17 months ago, three groups sued the FDA, and this week, the judge agreed with them, saying the government ignored data that suggests premium cigars do not appeal to young people, are consumed far less often, and don't pose the same level of health threat that cigarettes and other tobacco products do. I do agree because cigar smoking to me is just more relaxing. I mean, down the street, you, you uh, have the building where it all started and then you got the culture that went behind it. I mean, this is, this is, e is definitely 100% known as Cigar City. One of the oldest and largest in our area, J.C. Newman Cigar Company, released a statement saying in part, for the past five years, we've been living in regulatory purgatory. The decision, they said, is a landmark ruling that will shape America's premium cigar industry for generations. The judge's decision did not go so far as to strike down FDA regulation of premium cigars, but the industry hopes that that's what will happen after both sides submit legal briefs by July 26th. After that, the court is expected to issue what it called an appropriate remedy. In Ybor City, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay. In the early 1900s, Ybor City was considered the cigar capital of the world with 200 cigar factories employing 10,000 cigar rollers. Those factories produce close to half a billion hand-rolled cigars every year.